Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my replays, and I'm in the Plymouth at year 10 US... No, wait. British Cruiser. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm on the map as Cherry, and it's a tier 11 game. There is a super carrier, which is super annoying. And we are facing a triple destroy division here. Now I'm inside the smoke screen that... Uh, my friend has provided for me. I do have my own smoke, so I can needlessly transition into that once I need it. But yeah, the enemy has unfortunately not entered the camp. So my radar is not getting any use so far. But there is a free destroyer division here, right? Now, if they are not using that free destroyer division to, to contest the camp, that's a big win for us. Because that's uh, well, an awful waste of those of those ships. Like, they are a Sherman, a Shimmer and a Vampire, right? So the Sherman is obviously a very good gunboat. And Vampire and Sherman both have Hydro. They all have smoke screens. They'd have the Shimmer to spot and then, you know, the others to gun. So... Essentially, they are a very strong division against other destroyers, but we brought the Raider. <laughs> and Raider does have more range, so if they try anything with the camp, they're gonna get raided and then they will take heavy damage. Now, they could still try it, I suppose. At least bait the Raider. What you'd wanna do in such a situation, right, is bait the Raider and then move into the camp with a higher or something. But they are a little bit too careful for that. Now also keep in mind that my radar is extending very far here, right? This is one of those maps that wasn't designed for tier 10 or tier 11. And is only here because Wargaming is utterly incompetent. So, uh, which is obviously good news for, for <laughs> me in a 9km radar ship, right? You can see they can't really, even like the entire flank is technically covered by radar. Now I don't know if they are there, right? I could potentially press the radar button right now. We can see, wait, there is a smoke there somewhere. And it's possible that, yeah. No, that looks too far away. So I think they're being very careful to not push in too far. But that means they are very limited there, right? And with all the islands here, they can't really do much. They are also losing the other side. Currently, no ship has been destroyed, but we are getting more points. And that Kurfürst is rather low. So I see another smoke going up there. My radar doesn't extend very far beyond the camp. And they are very careful to not enter it. But this isn't going to be a winning move for them because... Uh, ooh, there's the Sherman. We, we are just winning with uh, more camp circles. Now, if the enemy team right had pushed A, which they totally could, mind you. They even have more ships there than we do. So they absolutely could be taking A, and then this stalemate here wouldn't be a problem for them. But, you know, <laughs> it's it's funny how many ships they tried to squeeze into this square here. And now they lost one. Oh well, I don't have anything better to do, so I'm just gonna blind shoot here into this smoke screen. I do have some torps going towards it, I don't really have much hope for any of that, but... Uh, yeah, it's like there isn't much else I can do. I could shoot the Vincent, I suppose. I'd have to reverse a little bit. I'm using a Hydro now, so it's ready again. I have to be careful, right? The Sherman doesn't really have the best torpedoes. It does have certainly the range to hit me here in the smoke screen, but it only has like two per side. The Vampire and the Shimakase are more of a concern. They could definitely be in a position where they try to torpedo me. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm not doing too bad with my blind shots. I'm gonna also launch some more torps in there. So it's, uh, it's slow going, but I am doing some damage to this Sherman. Now the question is where do we go from here? The Winston, if the if it weren't for the Winston, I could just push those destroyers, right? I could also just try to go around here. But the Winston is coming from over here. The Viper is coming in with another smoke screen. Mine is almost ready as well. I could also just, I guess, reverse there and shoot this Winston and 
See the destroys? I think their biggest mistake is that they aren't baiting the rail. Right. Oh, now they are in the camp. Yeah, see, now this is... I suppose this Shima has taken a top or something because it's so low. Not from me, mind you, but from one of my friends. And... Now it's too low to really bait the radar, right? Like, they, they needed to bait the radar early on and then contest the camp while it's on cooldown, right? With, with the... Is this Shima going to his camp? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the completely healthy vampire is there in the 10 line. Yeah, like the Sherman and the vampire, they'd be really good fighting destroyers, and now they've lost their spot. Eh? Victory is in sight. I mean, the enemy team has lost half of the ships anyway. And uh, SJR has even gone so far as to switch to the other side. Because, you know wasn't needed here and now now the Sherman is trying the camp but once again we are at <laughs> we are at almost 800 oh no we are at oh, 800 points they are below 100 most of the team is dead it's just way too late to do anything at this point meanwhile here are the planes now I've been in smoke a lot so planes haven't bothered me too much so far but of course they had to come eventually. Not that they are coming for me necessarily here, right? I think they are dropping the uh, Columbo or whatever next to me. Now I do not have any of my consumables ready. But as you can see, right, they they pulled my radar. Well, I mean, it cost them the, the shimmer. But if my radar is on cooldown, right, then they have more than enough time to camp. And, you know, it's a Sherman and a Vampire in there. It's not something that the Somers can really contest. Of course, there is the Sherman. It's smoke has run out. We can see the Vampire there too. Fire. Plymouth isn't, you know, the tankiest uh, uh, ship. So they could even gun me down between the two of them. I'm a little bit too broadside here because I wanted to get hopes of it. was probably silly, but hey, come on. This game is basically over anyway, and they are hydroing me, which means I can't even go into concealment. But my consumables are almost ready, and then I'll be able to see them again. But they are only almost ready, right? So that vampire is trying to... Be better position there. Yeah, I am getting farmed pretty heavily, and consumables are on. Oh. And I got one. <laughs> Got one and managed to get into cover. Now the amount of damage, like the amount of damage I have taken, was a bit concerning. If if this was a close game, I would have just waited for my consumables to become ready Switch and then pushed inside. because then I could have done a lot more against them. But you know, there was absolutely no need. Now we're gonna reach a thousand points, and now this is over. So there is that. Not the most exciting game, I mostly sat behind an island and was a threat to the camp and the enemy didn't dare come in it until it was way too late. I have to say though, like the triple destroy division had the problem that the other side just uh, refused to do something with their numerical uh, superiority, right? So, um, yeah, there is that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll see you next time.